हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द थर्ड सेमिस्टर द मैथमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट दिस सेमिस्टर यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज ट्रांसफॉर्म कैलकुलस फोर इयर्स सीरीज एंड न्यूमरिकल टेक्निक्स कोर्स कोड इज एटीन मैट थर्टी वन आउटलाइन ऑफ द कोर्स दैट इज सिलेबस मॉड्यूल वन कंटेन्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म मॉड्यूल टू फोर इयर्स सीरीज मॉड्यूल थ्री continuation of that previous module that is fourier transforms difference equations and z transforms that is z transforms module 4 numerical solutions of ordinary differential equations that is odes and module 5 is numerical solution of second order odes and calculus of variations this is your syllabus now i am going to handle uh, start module 4 that is a numerical solution of ordinary differential equations of first order and first degree before starting the module just let me explain you why we need numerical methods already we have studied in second semester that the basics of numerical methods actually Uh, these methods are again used to find the solution of equations already you have studied various analytical means theoretical methods for solving differential equations and some of the equations are applicable in some particular forms but the dif uh, differential equations uh, which are arised arised uh, out of many physical problems uh, such in such problems we are not able to find the solution because they are not in a specific forms uh, those uh, we have studied in theoretical ways they are not exactly in the same form that is standard form of equations or formulas we can't apply in such cases analytical uh, finding analytical solution may be um, very difficult in some of the physical problems there may not be some analytical solution there may uh, it, uh, it may may not exist in such cases we use numerical methods because the there these numerical methods assumes important role because they give us accurate not exact solution not exact what we get from theoretical uh, formulas using those not exactly same solution but we'll get a accurate solution using numerical methods and computers using computer also we may uh, we may find numerical solution for the differential equations those arise from the physical problems we'll get uh, for highest degree of accuracy we'll get a solution accurate value which is nearest value suppose our solution is 1 then we will make it solution using numerical methods as 0.999 like this that is the highest accuracy we will get so i am going to start this fourth module in for this fourth module uh, you are going to that the title is numerical solution of ordinary uh, differential equations of first order and first degree just uh, recall uh, your second semester in uh, that semester um, you, you have studied in the uh, module 2 in the first semester module 2 what was uh, it was about uh, differential equations uh, there you have studied taylor's series expansion for uh, single variable function one variable function you have studied taylor's series for expansion for function now in this module you are going to study the same taylor series but it is for differential equations of first order and first degree means what in this module you are going to study uh, five numerical methods just i start writing go on writing the methods we'll go on writing the methods first method is taylor's series method second one modified euler's method
third one runge kutta method of fourth order uh, fourth one Milne's method and fifth one Adams bash fourth method both the uh, last two methods fourth and fifth Milne's method and Adams bash fourth method both are called as predictor and corrector formulae both are called as predictor and corrector formulae because in this we assume some initial values and then we correct the values that's why it is called predictor and corrector formulae and uh, all these methods are solved for initial value problems initial value problem means what you are given with the uh, you are given the differential equation with the initial conditions suppose uh, all these methods all the five methods are studied for initial value problems so in this we are going to study these methods for initial value problems so initial value problem means what so initial value problem means what consider a differential equation of first order and first degree in the form dy by dx is equal to f of xy with initial condition y of x not equal to y not that is y equal to y not at x equal to x not this problem of finding y is called as initial value problem in the simple way initial value problem means what it is a differential equation with two initial conditions x equal to x not and y equal to y not this is a simple way so now for such problems we need to uh, compute y of x so for the neighborhood of value of x naught you are given with the initial condition x naught for that we need to find y of x equivalently we compute y of x naught plus or minus h where h is a small increment that is called as uh, increment or length for it is h also mentioned that is uh, increment is also mentioned for such problems also uh, for such type of problems also solved now we'll study taylor series method consider the initial value problem that is dy by dx is equal to f of xy and y of x not equal to y not this is a initial value problem that is a differential equation the solution y of x is approximated to a power series in x minus x naught using Taylor's series you all studied the Taylor series power series in, in the form of power series x minus x naught so then we can find the value of y for various values of x in the neighborhood of x naught so we have Taylor series expansion of y of x about the point x naught so that what I mentioned power series method is as below that is y of x is a solution then y of x naught plus x minus x naught into y dash of x naught plus x minus x naught whole square by 2 factorial into y double dash of x naught plus x minus x naught whole cube by 3 factorial into y triple dash of x naught and so on this is a infinite power series in terms of x minus x naught that is the neighborhood of x naught so here y dash y double dash y triple dash they all denote the derivatives that is the dy by dx d square y by dx square and so on with respect to x naught so which can be used uh, which can be found by making uh, use of the given data means what in the solve problems you are given with the differential equation with initial value then using the differential equation we need to find you differential equation is dy by dx so y dash of x is given so and x naught will be mentioned we need to find y dash at x naught there is a dy by dx at x naught then differentiate the function y double dash y triple dash whatever they asked depending upon that we have to expand the uh, equation Taylor's expansion up to that much of terms 
they may ask uh, find the tailor series for expansion for the up to fifth term up to fourth term or else uh, they ask up to find the fourth degree third degree depending upon this we need to expand the term and substitute the given x not and then we'll get a y dash at x not y double dash of x not and so on substitute all the values in the uh, this expansion just substitute the value in expansion simplified you will get the solution of a differential equation in terms of taylor's series so in the next video we are going i am going to solve example on taylor series method so we need uh, scientific calculator so for whenever you see the video please keep the scientific calculator beside you so try to calculate recalculate all the examples thank you